Hello everybody, Chris here. Um, I promised a video to some people and I, this is the first time I actually had a chance to do it. My computer was not up to the task of running fraps and recording uh, and playing the game at the same time. Since I've upgraded it is, as you can tell, pretty smooth and really nice. Um, I want to talk to you guys about this mod pack called Feed the Beast. Um, this mod pack is a really easy way to install mods, have them work, and have pretty much no hassle at all from the client side. Everything will be taken care of on the server side by me. Um, so the point of this video is to send it out to people that have that play Minecraft now but may not be actually involved in mods or have any interest in it. Uh, this is kind of be like a miniature multi-mod spotlight showing some of the ones that um, the Feed the Beast mod pack has and that will be coming. Um, I'm This server right here that I'm on right now is just a single player server. I didn't do anything. I didn't, say, I didn't set anything multiplayer up because it was just going to be me. Uh, this is a 1.4.2 uh, wor uh, world. Uh, the other one that I will be showing you is a 1. Point, let's see, what is it? 1.4.5. 1. 1. And then obviously, I don't know if you're keep you track, uh, 1.4.6 will be coming out soon. Um, the great thing I like about this mod pack is uh, the, the mod developers are all kind of um, working together uh, with each other and with the creators of the uh, Feed the Beast mod pack. So all this stuff is being updated incredibly fast. We're talking a matter of days instead of a matter of weeks. Um, the, the the only mod that's really being waited for right now, which sh should be coming out soon, is Red Power 2. Um, that's the one I've been waiting for for a while. Um, once that comes out, uh, we would actually be able to go in and create a server and keep it for a very long time because once once all the stuff is in there and the world, world gen is all already uh, brand new, don't worry about anything else with uh, new resources and that kind of stuff. Um, so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you some of the things uh, of the mods. Uh, I'm going to go with my one of my favorite ones right now. Uh, it's called Industrial Craft 2, which is what you see these boxes here. Uh, it, it adds a lot of machines, it adds electricity, um, a whole, whole, whole bunch of stuff. Um, so let's see, this right here, uh, these are solar panels. Uh, this right here is the one that comes with uh, Industrial Craft. Uh, let me see here. This is a reader. It tells me the how much energy is flowing through. So obviously right now nothing's flowing through because it's nighttime, um, which I, I'll leave it at nighttime for a reason. Because um, for another mod I can show you, I want the monsters to spawn inside my area here. Um, these right here actually is a hybrid, so it produces la uh, energy less energy even at night. Uh, this is an actual mod called Compact Solars, um, so it adds these very, very expensive um, recipes to make. Um, but like I said, they're very—they put out a lot of energy during the day, and they put out energy even at night. Uh, this right here is called the MFSU. Uh, it stores electricity. It stores 10 million units, what they call EU, um, and there's three different sizes of of those that. Um, that, that hold different amounts, uh, 10 million, 600,000, uh, 60,000, and then 40,000. Uh, these are transformers that step down the power to different levels so that uh, machines can use it because um, not all machines can handle the high, the high voltage. If I take you down to my room here, uh, these are some of the machines. Um, this, oops, let me get that. This is an extractor. Uh, it is used to extract different things out of different materials uh, at an increased amount. This is a macerator, which I'll show you what it does real quick. If you put some ore in there, um, it breaks it down and it gives you two pieces of uh, dust. So usually one ore uh, cooks into one, pe one bar. Well, what this will do is it will take that uh, one piece of ore and it will give you pretty soon here to dust. And you could put that dust inside of a furnace. This is an induction furnace, and boom, you have two pieces of ore. 
So, uh, two ingots, excuse me. So it pretty much doubles the amount of resources you have. Um, these are part of the Advanced Machines, which is another mod, uh, IC2 mod. And what it does is it's the same as these three, um, except a lot faster. <laughs> as you can see, see this is a compressor, so let me see what I can compress here. I don't have anything I can compress. I'll get some, some snowballs here. So you can see the speed at which it it uh, compresses is a lot faster. And uh, if I go down to the if I go down to the rotary macerator, you can see how fast that goes. Much much faster than the one over there. And these are upgrades that you can put in there to make it even faster. So right now it's at 95, 100. If I take one of these out, it goes down to to uh, 9,000. And then if I put it back in, it builds up again to 9500. Uh, if you put a switch next to it or give it a redstone signal it will hold its speed even while not in use. And then this is the same thing as this extractor over here but again like I said faster. Uh, this is a part of the iron chests mod uh, which I never used until I used this and I really really like it. Um, pretty much actually, let me get you a normal chest here so you can see the difference. Um, so these are pretty cool because, obviously not only because they're bigger, um, they're single chests that have more space than the double chests, and you can put them right next to each other. So this is the iron, this is the copper, and then tin, I think? Uh, silver, excuse me. Silver, gold, quite a bit, and then diamond. And this is a crystal chest, the same space as the diamond, but you can actually see what's inside. The really awesome part is if you have a chest out here already that you just want to make bigger, you don't want to break what's in it, you can get these upgrades. Click on it. Uh, is it shift click, or what is it? Oh wait, I did the wrong order. I gotta do... Uh, what is it? Copper to silver, silver to copper, normal chest to iron chest. There you go. I had the wrong one. Boom. So it will just go ahead and make it automatically without having to change the inventory inside the chest, which I think is really cool. Um, the, a lot of things that the, which I'll get in here, some toys real quick. Let me get rid of this stuff. Um, a lot of the cool things that, uh, that industrial craft brings into it is different ways of getting resources. Um, this right here is a miner, which I will show you real quick. Um, oh, hey. Well, actually, well, I'll kill him real quick. Yeah, I just shot a laser at a skeleton. This is a mining laser, which I will. Oh, actually, I can, I can as well show you right now. Uh, it has several different modes that you can you can use and cycle through. Uh, actually, let's. I'm gonna not do that here because this thing could be pretty devastating. Uh, I'll stay with my uh, original plan with the with the uh, the miner. This right here is called a OV scanner. It scans a nine by nine sec section directly below you. And what it does is it gives you a number, as you can see there, the ore value in this area is 68. 78, 74, 70. Obviously, the higher the number, the more resources that are directly below you. So let's see, that was 78. Where is 74? Where is the 75, 76? Okay, I'll just say 77. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll take the miner and I'll place it right where I was at. And then I will take. Uh, let's see here. Let's put it right here is fine. I'll take a chest. Uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and do this. So these are geothermal generators. They they create um, energy using lava, which I don't have any. Let me get some of those real quick. By the way, I'm cheating. I'll explain what this is over here. Uh, in a later time. It's a, a mod called NEI, which is really, really amazing uh, for reasons not besides the fact that I'm cheating right now. That's not right, it's amazing. Let me do that. 
and put that in here and just to demonstrate uh, the energy system so these out output uh, EU uh, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put it up like this and then this is a bat box which is the lowest storage capacity that has a storage of 40,000 as you can see it's building up pretty quick because he's put out quite a bit of EU per tick and you see that little dot right there that is the output side of the bat box so I'll put it down like this and put it into these two machines and you can see that little red thing right there means that it is powered uh, this miner needs a scanner. Uh, there's two different scanners. Um, if you put the OV scanner in here, it will actually mine a larger area. It does that 9x9 nine nine area directly below it. And um, you need mining pipes. I'll put those in there. And you need a diamond drill or a normal drill. Uh, the diamond drill is faster than normal. And you can see it is spitting stuff out already. So it's actually jigging straight down. And then what it does is it goes down a level and if it finds anything in that level, it will mine over to it to get it. As you can see, this isn't exactly the best system, so what you do, if you put down a chest next to it, it will automatically spit all the stuff into the chest. Uh, this is a pump. Uh, if you put empty cells in there, like so, um, it will, if the miner finds any um, lava as it goes straight down, the pump will pump out the lava and put it into cells just like these right here. So it's actually a pretty good way of getting lava into cells if you're using it that way for you know energy production. I actually really I really do like that aspect of it. And you can put another chest over here. Um, you put another chest over here like so. And you can actually put empty cells in there. And if it runs out, it will put uh, it will take the cells out of the chest and put the filled lava cells in there. Uh, I will actually go ahead and show you what it looks like. I think, uh, let's see, where is it at? I think I marked it here. Oh boy, that's going to be bad. I don't know where I put it. Uh, this I'm using right now is an advanced diamond drill. It's another mod that add on. Um, ah, here it is. It uh, is a shovel and a pickaxe at the same time. So you can use it to do dirt, gravel, whatever. There's only there's one drill. It has, it has a power bar that's at the bottom of the 15,000 EU out of 15,000 EU. That is what it stores in the in the actual device itself. And then there's other uh, things that store energy as well. So if I put this lap pack on, as you see, it has a 30,000, uh, 300,000 storage on it. Um, as I use this, it will use energy from the lap pack, as you can see, it went down there uh, before it uses the energy on the actual drill itself. Uh, I happen to have a ultimate solar helmet, which is really ridiculously expensive I cheated it in obviously um, but you can you can put that on there and it will not only charge the things on your inventory uh, on you your person but also charge everything that has some sort of electrical thing uh, electrical storage uh, in your inventory which is ridiculous um, okay so see where was that hole at I gotta put my jetpack back on oh yeah by the way this is a jetpack so if I hold down the space bar I go up and there's a hover mode and this is the normal mode so you can see just exactly how fast but you have to be careful not to die which is why you usually stay in hover mode because you you fall down slow enough to to not uh, not die so as you can see this is the hole that that miner went down over here and it branches out and goes in little crevices here and gets different ore as it goes down and you can see like I said it goes through this finds it it's, it's really cool it's a really it's a really great way to get an early head uh, early an early jump on um, on mining for not too expensive. It does. There are some diamonds involved that you need to get to to make it worth your while, and you do have to go to the Nether to to get it. But um, some glowstone. Uh, but yeah, it's it's still it's still still worth it. So let me go ahead and zip out of here real quick. My jetpack. Do 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 do. Okay. Um, so let's let's go take a look real quick at the miner. See how it's doing. Uh, I also have quantum. Uh, boots and quantum leggings uh, which make you do this run faster and you can jump really far um, and then the boots make it so that you don't take fall damage well you take actually you take less damage as long as you have um, as long as you have power in the boots so if I was to use my jump jetpack and go really really high like so and I fall 
no damage, but it uses energy, and as you can see, it's already back up to full though. Um, okay, so let's see here. What do we have here? All right, so as you can see, it's using up the mining pipe as it goes down. Uh, you can actually get the mining pipe back, which is really cool. When you're done, when the when the miner is done, you just take the diamond drill out, and it will extract the mining pipes for you into the chest next to it, which is, I think, really really awesome. Um, so you see, see what we got here. Okay, so we got some coal, some dirt and gravel, uh, cobblestone, of course, some copper ore, some uranium, which is used for making nuclear reactors in uh, industrial craft. Some appetite, which is for forestry and fertil for fertil making fertilizer. Some iron ore and some tin ore, which is also from industrial crafts. Um, as you can see, uh, this bat box is storing the the energy, putting it into the miner and the pump, and then the geothermal generator, as you can see, flashing because that's it's it's going in and out because that's what uh, doesn't need that much electricity. Um, see what else I don't have a nuclear reactor set up yet uh, I probably will just because I want the increased uh, the increased uh, production uh, energy production but um, but yeah that it, it's a very complex very um, I shouldn't say very complex but uh, it's, it's a semi complex um, setup that you can have varying amounts of um, EU production and then you have to do heat management to make sure that your nuclear reactor doesn't blow up because if it does it makes a very very large large hole which I will show you what that looks like from an old map that Grant and I played on. Um, I'll go ahead and show you forestry next. Actually let's go ahead I'll make it dark real quick. Let's see if we can get some monsters to spawn here. This uh, is the the map, in the, the mini map you see in the top right hand control uh, side is is pretty cool um, it is nice having a little bit larger you know viewing area it actually shows you the buildings where you're at gives you a better idea I, I still get lost but um, you can create waypoints with it so that you can see where like oh I, I want to mark this part on the map because I want to come back here later to look at something etc etc um, that's that's a really cool part of that um, it shows you the coordinates shows you the elevation it shows you it shows you it's it's, it's pretty cool and you see if you, if you do right control it brings up the different um, Different sep uh, options. Like right now, I have the entities radar on, uh, radar on, so I can see like sheep and stuff like that because I was looking for something. So I can actually turn that off. You can turn monsters on, so you can see where they're at, which I don't usually don't usually use because I think it's you know cheating, uh, not cheating, but just you know cheap, cheap, cheap. Um, while I'm waiting for monsters to show up, uh, I'll tell you about MFF MFFS. Mobile force field something, I can't remember what it means. Uh, hmm. That's odd. Um, so these are extractors. They take force lean, which is a ore you find in the world, and it creates it, it, create, it turns it into force energy. So these three things output force energy, and this is a capacitor which holds the force energy. And you can see there's five linked devices to this, so it wire wirelessly sends this force energy out to different um, different things in the in the world. Uh, so let me. Hmm. I'm surprised there's no creepers out here right now. I'll just go ahead and show you anyway. Uh, so here's one of my force field generators right here. So if I if I turn it on. Oh, you can hear it. The zombie just got killed because he was inside my force field. So as you can see, this this area right here is pretty pretty big. It's it's expandable. It's it's shapeable. You can make it a square. You can make it a wall. You can make it a tunnel. You can do all types of stuff with this. It's pretty cool. And I can't walk through it. So it's an actual force field. You can't go through it. And I have it set up so if any NPCs, any of the bad guys are inside that area, they will die. Um, if I use this right here, this is the multi-tool for the MFFS mod. I can click on this and teleport myself through the through the um, force field. Uh, I have another one right here, and if I turn this one on, I have it set up so that where the force fields join, they combine instead of separate each other. So it makes it one big force field force field area that I don't have to worry about anything coming through and um, anything inside is dead and yes it does go underground too so if I was to go over here and dig under under here oops, if you hit the field you get hurt 
So I shouldn't do that. So as you can see, it goes it goes down. It goes down as much as much as it goes up. So that's pretty nice, I think. Um, and uh, these force fields do use the force helium uh, energy storage over here, the force energy. Uh, so as you can see, that capacitor is going down. Uh, I have to actually do some tweaking, and this is just a, a, a setup. It's not exactly what I would use because it's, it's huge. It's, it's just it's a little, little wasteful. Um, I would actually make it a little more efficient and more shaped, I guess you can say. I don't know too much about it yet. <clears throat> I'm still learning about MFSS, uh, the mod, so go ahead and turn this off for now. Um, forestry is a mod that has a lot of automation in it. All of these farms you see here are forestry, far uh, forestry farms. And um, they they make it so. Oops. There we go. Uh, they make it so that you can have these automated systems that are powered by um, buildcraft, which is kind of actually started with buildcraft. Buildcraft is like the basis for all of these mods. Uh, it was kind of like the granddaddy of them all. Um, kind of started the whole, uh, this, this whole this whole movement that made all this possible. Um, so it uses buildcraft energy, which is these golden pipes right here. Um, and these these are uh, steam engines from Railcraft, which I will get into. Um, so this is a wheat farm. It takes seeds um, and dirt, which you don't need dirt now. It just needs dirt, the original. But it will keep everything. Uh, it has it puts the water blocks in there. It plants the seeds, and then it harvests them. So what I can do is let me get some uh, some bone meal real quick. And if I was to go over here and click on this, make it grow. These, this one right here, will farm it as soon as it gets some. It's not like an instant thing, but it does do. Uh, it does take a little bit of time. Boom! So it just, it just, it just uh, mined it, and then um, you can see it coming out through here. Um, and then this one over here planted seeds in the area that it was that it took it that it uh, took out. Uh, this is a golden pipe, uh, sorry, diamond pipe, and uh, you can set it up to sort um, things that come through it. So what I do is I have, as you can see, I have two-thirds of the seeds going back into the machine to be planted again. That way I always have seeds. And then the majority, uh, the leftover, is here. So you can see there's quite a few. Um, and you can use these farms not only just to make food to, you know, to keep yourself fed, but you can use those other you can use those to do other things, like ferment it into biofuel. This is a tree farm. Uh, it does the exact same thing, except it just grows trees. And it requires uh, oak sapling. It requires saplings. It requires uh, hummus, which is created um, using dirt and fertilizer, which I am just cheating in right now, like I said, for for pur purposes. Um, and uh, this is a build craft right here in its all of its glory. Um, this is called a gate, and it has conditions on it. And right now it says if the soil is less than 25%, it will send a red pipe signal, which is this wire on the side of the pipe here. And this is a uh, iron gate. This is if I have a red pipe signal, I will do energy pulse. So what does that mean? Well, let me show you. Um, oh, I should also explain. This is this is a auto crafting table. Um, it's build crafting. Um, you set up a a um, recipe in here, and when an engine pumps, tries to pump out of it, if there is resources in an adjoining chest with everything that needs to make, it will make said recipe and then get pumped out. So if I were to take this out, you can see the red pipe uh, thing came on. It turned on the gate, and it is sucking out the, hum uh, the humus, uh, yeah, humus, um, out of the autocrafter into the arboreum, which is going to then um, there you go. Then it will it will then go in there, and you can see. Oh, okay, I have more than 25% now, so it stopped. The signal turned off. So this is a good way to keep 
all the resources inside of the machine without having an overflow, which is usually what happens when you have a normal build craft engine that's always on. You have to time it just right just to get enough, uh, just to get exactly right. Oh, so you saw that tree grow. So you can, you can watch it uh, cut it down. I said it takes a little bit of time. It's not, a, it's not an instant thing. Boom, there it goes. So it breaks the block, it picks up the wood, and then it picks up any saplings that fall from here. Uh, saplings and apples, as you can see. There's apples in there. And pretty much you just always have a lot of wood that you can use for different things. And the byproduct is sand uh, off of this. Uh, this is a peat farm. Um, peat farms produce peat for in uh, engines. Uh, these are peat engines that use da -da -da peat and um, produce ash in the process. Um, they are actually really, I really like peat engines. Uh, one peat farm, I think, can keep, I want to say, eight, eight to ten peat engines fully fueled. Um, so oh, that's, that's kind of cool. And I have the same setup here to keep this full of uh, bog earth. Um, and this produces uh, dirt as an off, as an off product. Um, and here's another auto crafting table with a recipe for bog, uh, bog earth that creates automatically using that resources. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what our miner is doing right now. Uh, ooh, so we got some more some more stuff here. Uh, some emeralds, which is a actual vanilla um, vanilla resource. Um, must sorry, must be below me. Um, and yeah, some bauxite, some copper, some tin, a lot of cobblestone. Uh, I think I'll show you guys the extra biomes. This is a, a new thing entered in that adds new and interesting um, new and interesting trains. Like you said over there, that's called a glacial I'll go over there real quick. Uh, that's, that's, this is a glacial uh, biome. You see it's, it's huge um, and it has ice and snow and a lot of rock in it. Um, Let's see here. Wait, wait for it to uh, render a little bit here. There you go. So yeah, uh, pretty cool looking. Uh, they have a whole bunch of different things here. Uh, they have um, new trees. Uh, they have um, different types of sand. You see this one right here looks pretty cool. What is this one called? Uh, so that's a forest, river, mountainous desert, which this is right here. Um, you see these little things right here. These are beehives, actually. That's part of forestry. Bees are a very, very big part of forestry. Um, very, very complex, but a lot of fun. If you want to have a nice, complex, challenging project, look into bees, and uh, you will definitely won't be disappointed. Interesting little formation here. What have we got here? What's this called? Mountainous Desert. Forested Hills. Uh, here you can see some new trees here. This is pretty interesting. Really, really big pine trees. Um, and there actually is inside here, it's called Temperate Rainforest, huh? Interesting. Uh, inside here there is a village. Uh, which is somewhere. Where is it? As you can see, pretty cool looking. Very, very different type of landscaping. Um, but I do really enjoy uh, the new biomes that it puts, what it brings in. Actually, I have a a waypoint for the village. So let's turn that on so you can take a look at where it's at. Okay, so there you go. So it shows you where it's at, what the direction, how far away you are, which is which is kind of cool, and it shows you your elevation difference between uh, where you're going. So I like that a lot. Um, All right, so there you go. There's a village. They usually have farms here that you can you can use. Uh, but the really cool thing is that the villagers themselves, if I can find 
some of them. Let's see what we got here. Anybody in there? Nope, I have bookcases though. A uh, crafting table, kind of cool. There's a well, so there always will be like an infinite water source in a village. Uh, ah, here we go. So, a villager. We'll trade uh, a book, 11 books for an emerald. That's not a very good trade right there. Uh, there we go. Wheat for an emerald. Um, sometimes in villages there is an apiary, an, um, an apri uh, apiarist right here. So they have bees. This will trade. Ooh, that's actually really nice. An emerald for a proven frame, which is the best frame you can get. And then an emerald for a cooked chicken. Actually, I've never actually tried to trade, so let's try real quick. Emerald. We'll get an emerald real quick. Put it in there. Boom. Chicken. Ta da. That's kind of cool. Oops. Speaking of which, I'm a little hungry. Um. So yeah, but there are there are there are many different types of of uh, biomes. Um, I haven't actually seen all of them yet, um, but they are pretty pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay, let me uh, get back to. I'll just make it easier here. Back to home. It's this way. Um, so let's see, what else we got? Uh, Railcraft. Railcraft is like... Uh, actually, there's two of them. Uh, there's Railcraft and Steve Carts. They both take the vanilla uh, crafting system to a whole new, whole new level. Um, I actually have a demonstration set up here at my base that I'll show you. For whatever reason, this place is full of pigs. It took me forever to find chickens. And I didn't even find it. I had to go to a different...